Welcome to Electrophilic Addition Reactions, another video in the series Organic Chemistry, Some Basic Concepts. We have been following this series so that it's easier. We've gone step by step so that it's easier for the student to relate to this particular topic. Electrophilic Addition Reactions, Addition plus, make it more. So, Addition Reactions simply involve the addition of a simple atom or group across the doubly or the triply bonded carbon atoms. In other words, it's addition across an unsaturated molecule. Unsaturated because as I said, we could have addition across a double bond or a triple bond. Hydrogen bromide gets added to CH3, CH double bond, CH2 that is propene to give us two products actually. So what we will have is either the hydrogen gets attached to the, so either we have simple H goes here, Br goes here or second is H goes here and Br goes here. So we can have two possible combinations. So the other product that we can write over here is CH3, CH2, CH2Br. What has been observed is that this product is the minor product. In other words, the percentage of bromopropane is lower than the percentage of 2-bromopropane. What explains this behavior? We need to study the steps of this reaction in order to understand why we are getting two products and why one is, is in majority while the other is formed in a lesser amount. First step is in the generation of the electrophile. Electrophile, electron loving. We need a species which is short of electrons. We get it from the reagent HBr, Heterolytic fission, H positive, Br negative. Electrophile, H positive, goes and attacks the propene molecule. Bromide, why not bromide? Because bromide is already electron rich. You have C double bond C. C double bond C means it has been formed by a pi bond combination. In other words, there is the overlap like this. In other words, it's already having an electron cloud above and below the nuclear axis so it will not attract the Br negative so easily. So H positive goes and attacks the substrate molecule. There are two possibilities in this again. Either the pi electron cloud moves towards carbon number 2 or it moves towards carbon number 1. So 1, 2 and 3. This type of movement of pi electron cloud in the presence of a reagent is given a specific effect. What is that effect? Can you recall? Yes, give it a thought. It's electromeric effect. So electromeric effect is temporary movement of pi electrons in a molecule due to the presence of a reagent. Now considering the two possibilities that we had, we can have two types of carbocations being formed. So if our electron pair moves to carbon number 1, so the H positive will come and attach itself to carbon number 1. So our second carbon gets a positive charge. It now becomes short of electrons. Alternately, if our electron pair, that is our pi electron, moves to carbon number 2, Two. Now this is rich in electrons so H positive will come and attack carbon number 2 in which case it is carbon number 1 which acquires a positive charge. Intermediates where carbon is carrying a positive charge are known as carbocations and relating to the stability of carbocations due to hyperconjugation we know that secondary carbocations are more stable than the primary carbocations. That is why our secondary carbocation will be the major intermediate. This is highly unstable. It is carrying a positive charge. You think it can survive on its own? No. It needs a negative charge in order to neutralize itself or it needs to lose a proton. Step 3. 
bromide ion that is the nucleophile will go and attack the positive center either the second carbon atom or the first carbon atom giving us two products now just now we have discussed that a secondary carbocation is more stable than a primary in other words we are talking about something here which is in a greater percentage compared to the second one so our secondary carbocation gives us the major product that is 2 bromopropane or secondary alkyl halide in to generalize it and in minority you will have the bromopropane as the product as the side product this is called as markonikov rule what is markonikov rule when you have an unsymmetrical reagent what is an unsymmetrical reagent let's understand that as well symmetrical something which has line of symmetry if i am talking about ch2 ch double bond ch2 the two halves are mirror images of each other so this is a symmetrical reagent if one of the hydrogen is replaced by a ch3 group this becomes an unsymmetrical reagent as in this case again if i put ch3 now again it becomes symmetrical so wherever the hydrogen goes bromide goes doesn't make a difference the product still remains the same when an unsymmetrical reagent adds to an unsymmetrical alkene alkene or alkyne the positive part of the adding reagent will go to the carbon bearing more number of hydrogen atoms as we have seen alternately this is also stated as an unsymmetrical reagent adding to an unsymmetrical alkene the negative part goes to the carbon which is more substituted or has less number of hydrogen atoms both the statements mean the same thing but they state a very very important rule what we call as the markonikov it can also be spelled as m a r k o n i w k o f so markonikov or markonikov both mean the same after a russian scientist markonikov rule is very very important and helps you to decide what will be your major product during the course of a of an addition reaction there are many other examples of addition reactions that you would cover under alkenes and alkyne we talk about addition of hcl H2SO4, hydrogen, hypochlorous acid that is chlorine water or chlorine. What you simply have to do is H and Cl, positive and negative. Positive goes to the carbon bearing more number of hydrogen, simple. So obviously negative goes to the carbon which is less number of hydrogen atom. Same way if I talk about HOCl, so HOCl, positive, negative. So what we have over here is the, add the addition takes place in such a way that the positive part will go to the carbon bearing more number of hydrogen atoms. Hope this makes the concept a bit more clearer. Please practice it yourself in order to get a better understanding of this topic. Wish you all the luck.